Hi everyone and welcome back to Boomex Beauty Beat. It's Laura here. You are part of the Dating Detective series. We are on date number five. We've only got this one and two more to do and then we'll be moving on to uh, the seven R's on how to help find your true love. I am expressing these date experiences so that you guys can see how I manage doing pros and cons with different personality types and hopefully this helps you to kind of be discerning and get you closer and closer to what you want and deserve in love and so we're going to get started and we're calling this one millionaires millionaire mama's boy part of the ultimate transformation plan 777 where i help transform several areas of your life throughout the year don't forget to like and subscribe because Gosh knows, I'm gonna be going through bunches of topics and there'll be something in there for you for sure. I'm still navigating this cold, so please, I apologize for my voice being gravelly or whatever. All right, let's start with Millionaire Mama's Boy. Now, um, again, a lot of the next uh, bunches of people that I'm going to give you are from Match. They're from the online dating. And uh, how I went about this uh, was very different than meeting somebody in person because you certainly like you're working off of profiles, me meeting strangers, people don't know or I don't know or they're not commoning places that I frequent. So usually, you know, when you go to the same places other people go to, everybody knows everybody and you kind of get an idea who these people are. So basically when they're complete strangers, you're gonna to have to be a little more careful and discerning. Um, and I went into this second round of uh, Match.com dating as part of a new process where I was really, really way more careful with what my profile said and I was uh, much more intentional in what I was looking for and what I was not going to accept as well. And if you guys wanna take a look at that, uh, there is a video that I did just before this that went over my entire profile, exactly what I said. So if you're struggling with how to write an online dating profile, you might find some very helpful tips and tricks on how to do so in that video. So what we do um, with these dating videos is I give a series of three pros and cons to each individual because there's pros and cons to everyone. And at the end of it all, I'm revealing who I ended up deciding upon um, within all of these dating experiences. There is one that I selected, so I will let you know who that is. But um, you won't know which one of these people is going to be the one until we're done the series. So go for the ride because it's kind of fun. It's kind of a interesting ending. So basically I wanted to talk about, whoop, I dropped an earring. Let's put that in and start again. I want to say as an aside, I know it's old fashioned and, and, and sort of like cliche to hear or ask what a person's sign is, but I am doing it because I am overwhelmingly attracting millionaires and Tauruses. Uh, Tauruses are like the Fernandos of the, uh, <laughs> you know, Fernando the bull, Taurus is the bull. And they like, you know, to have low drama, low stress. They like pretty things, pretty sparkly things, red flashing things, but when they like something, they kind of go for it and they're very like determined. And um, maybe because of the fact that I'm, I'm a little more glammy and do up, um, I'm like a sparkly shiny thing that attracts them out of the woodwork for whatever reason before getting to know who I am as a soul, right? Um, but that is like always the initial. You're gonna get attracted on looks, you're gonna get attracted on, um, you know, how you appear, how you present. And sometimes like what, I, what a person looks like isn't who they are, well, most of the time, isn't what they are underneath. Um, but uh, hopefully for the right people, I'm pleasantly surprising them, um, but for some, you, you know, what I am on the surface isn't, I am a much deeper soul than that. And I, yes, I like to glam up. Yes, I like pretty and doing myself up, but that's like, I do it more for me. And um, the interesting thing about Tauruses is they're attracted to super pretty flashy, but once you get with them, they actually like you better in your more natural state. It's so bizarre. When they like to have that flash on the arm, but they like, 
natural at home. It's so weird, but I'm, I know I was with one for 14 years and you know, I'm familiar with Taurus's guy. They're like, I'm like beat a honey with those guys. So we'll talk about how this all began. So I actually chatted with this individual um, on match uh, several months prior and we almost, uh, you know, kind of hooked up. But as soon as I'm with somebody, I drop everything. I don't chat. I don't, you know, cheat, linger, do anything that would make me or my spirit feel like I am not being authentic. And if I am going to continue dating, I am very open about that. I don't sneak around. I don't like sneaking. That is not good for my soul. And hopefully you guys resonate with that. I suggest that you live by that because even though maybe people aren't watching, your soul is watching you and soul source is watching you. So I'm not saying like they're watching you to be bad or anything. I'm just saying you're, you're not resonating at a high vibration when you do deceitful things. So I try to avoid that at all costs. Anyway, back to the story. So in terms of this uh, person, we chatted a little bit, we almost connected, and then when I decided to, upon somebody, at least for a period of time, I disconnected. So when I went back on, the first person that contacted me was that person that we we're gonna meet up before. And finally, like however many months later, decided to arrange a date. And we had already chatted a little bit, so I already knew about this person, and it was just a matter of like setting up the date. And uh, so we went to a very popular, common place um, here in the city that I live in. And it, it's so bizarre. The experience is so bizarre, so I'll explain it to you. I'll tell you, the first thing that, uh, that they worry about is, are you going to look like your pictures and whatnot? And uh, so when they first see you, um, if you don't look you know, reasonably like your pictures or better or, you know, hopefully uh, similar, uh, then it's going to already ruin the dates. So you might as well be upfront with how you present yourself and present yourself similar to what your pictures look like, at least close. Um, anyway, so I presented myself very much like my photos and um, when he saw me, he was like blown away and surprised that I look like my pictures and whatnot. Um, we had gotten a table in this popular place uh, where I go once in a while to dance. Like, that's my favorite thing to do. So uh, some of the people that I had known, and I hadn't been there that many times, maybe like a half a dozen times, um, happened. it was just like, it, it looked like I was a celebrity. I'm not. It was just ridiculous. It was one of those weird nights where people kept coming by and being like, oh my God, hi, hi. And it was one after the other after the other with this individual sitting in front of me and he thought, Jesus, Lord Murphy, am I sitting with a celebrity? And I think it just stimulated him all the more. He was like geared up, excited about, you know, interacting with me. He was trying to get quite close to me and I was, you know, in my dance space <laughs> because that's just how I roll not in a in a in a unfriendly way but there has to be some boundaries when you're getting to know somebody and um, especially Tauruses they just like to crash that boundary down and like come close to you too close too quickly or whatever so I had to like I had to like uh, set the pace <laughs> and you can do that energetically physically speaking your truth whatever needs to happen and um, you know had a lovely meal and went for um, a walk afterwards and this particular um, person was well off he had several companies and um, one of them was dealing in uh, jewels in like jewel jewels like really expensive jewelry and stuff like that and uh so one of the things that we did is we went to um you know this really fancy hotel where they had like really fancy jewelry and already like flexing you know um you know would, would you like that would it was that something that you you know and he's just showing that he's a gift giver and would like to like buy things for like jewelry he was not happy with what I was wearing because it was a costume piece and wanted to replace it immediately with real jewel stone. I'm like, too much, 
slow down. Um, and there may be women be like, sure, sure, that's fine and great, but uh, energetically speaking, I wasn't ready for that kind of like influx. And that kind of thing scares me when it doesn't have um, real emotion attached to it we just met. So <laughs> be careful of that too, because uh, especially when you're dealing with somebody who's got lots and lots of money, they will use that to get what they want and um, you don't know what they want yet, which, well, usually you do. It's usually, you know, they want to like get what they want um, lustfully or passionately or whatever the case may be. And, you know, the more of a challenge you are, kind of the more it excites them too. So with me, I, I was very clear that I don't do that before a solid commitment. That's just not my vibe. I'm not built like that. It's a complete, completely away from what feels right to me in my soul everybody's different I have no judgment <laughs> but for me uh, whatever I you know we've all done things in the past whatever we've done if it doesn't resonate with me now at the stage of my life I don't do it because uh, why would I do anything that makes me feel bad about myself when I have to live with me so think about that one you guys <laughs> when you're like that though sometimes you can become a little bit of a conquest ish thing so the first there was two dates the first date was uh was that and a walk and a very you know kind of like a little bit of an ocean drive i knew where his companies were so i felt comfortable going in his car because we had talked like a lot before and i i sort of knew and then i also always just to give you guys a heads up i always if i go on a date like that i always make sure i text who, uh, who I'm going with, their company name, their, like I have to know all about them before I ever go in their car. You know, remember all that, you guys. And I make sure they know that my friends know that I'm with them and all of that and check-ins and, so be safe when you're going to meet strangers, right? Like don't do anything cray cray and be, yeah, be safe. Um, and sometimes I've agreed to things. I'm like, what did I just agree to? I'm backing out because that doesn't feel safe to me. So just always put your safety first. Needless to say, this, I mean, this vehicle, um, <laughs> it was like the highest, most expensive Tesla I've ever seen. It, it, like, it would probably could have been a spaceship, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but super, super like ridiculous. And you could tell like the pride that he had in this, car all about the tesla i mean it 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 was something that he just spent a lot of time showing me all of the bells and whistles about all the things it does and blah 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 blah, blah. um which is lovely and fine and good too bad i'm not a materialistic person because if i was i'm sure i'd be thoroughly impressed by that i'm more impressed by what a person's soul is all about but it's all right i mean you know abundance and hard work that's all that's all great parts of life but it's just not the most important thing to me so since i didn't like obviously let him get very far with me <laughs> although he tried i uh you know i agreed to go on another date because again i i, I sometimes let it go to the second date just to kind of like let things settle and you know sometimes things are a little more natural the second time around and um so i did but i just want to interject one thing we're going to go into like the pros and cons right away but i do want to mention like this particular individual comes from a culture that is um quite strong family bonded wise so when i say mama's boy i don't put judgment there i'm italian i understand the concept of like tie into family and all that stuff um but when you've got to interrupt your date because you talked to your mama <laughs> in the middle of an interaction because you know you talk three times a day or whatever it is it is i'm giving him mama's boy label because that's excessive okay like at least wait till the date is over or call the next day um you know to especially when you're speaking in a different language <laughs> in front of your date it just felt to me to be uh, odd um i rolled with it and i didn't make a lot of prejudgment at the time but uh, you know like it's great that you're close with your mom but ay 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 madonna miseria okay let's go to the pros and cons oh no we got to go to the next date and then i'll go to the pros and cons 
So the next day it was like a day trip kind of date, okay? And uh, it was sweet and fine, a beautiful drive and beautiful place. And, you know, we went for a lunch. So the, the lunch experience was interesting to say the least. Um, there was parts of it that were great, but I'll tell you that like one thing that I don't like seeing is like I'm very kind to like servers or anybody that is going to be bringing me something like food or drink or whatever because I, I it's a privilege to even have that experience for one um, there's a lot of places in the people in the world that don't get to get like, served in a restaurant or eh, whatnot so this particular person um, happened to be a connoisseur he called himself of calamari and calamari is one of the two foods I don't eat. I don't like raw onions and I don't like calamari. I'm Sicilian. I got thrown with too many um, tentacles and eyeballs, big octopus eyeballs and things when I was little. I was traumatized. I can't, I get like, I get a, a visceral reaction when I think about it and I can't. But that's fine. Everyone has their loves, right? And uh, I'm not so horrified as I used to be, but still I don't gravitate. Anyway, um, this particular person decided, like, orders calamari almost everywhere that he goes. And uh, ha calls himself a connoisseur. First of all, went to the washroom. When I came back from the washroom, he had his, his phone up watching uh, Tesla um, uh, drag races <laughs> while we're on the date. Okay, fine. Like, okay, what are we watching? I'll participate for a minute. But it was a little bit interesting and also um decided didn't like the calamari and that's fine like we all get foods that we don't like whatever um but the demeanor and the uh and the de entitlement and how that was dealt with was so rude and and also spent the entire lunch uh, complaining about that interaction about the calamar instead of like getting over it and be like okay that didn't work out the, uh, whatever it just so happened too that he didn't realize that the owner was the one serving him so all of his negative talk about well he didn't seem to care what the opin opinions were so that whole thing where you treat somebody poorly that is that's their pride that's their that's okay to, to, to like give a nice criticism to somebody, but do it in a way that isn't going to hurt them. Like that's their pride and joy, that's their restaurant, that's their thing. And I just don't believe in doing that, especially when they're being so nice to you, like yuck, ugh, ugh, nothing grinds me worse. So I didn't have a very good lunch experience. We did go to a museum after that or like a art place. And that experience was lovely and did get over it, but it did take the whole lunch. So <laughs> I didn't enjoy that very much. And after that, I really like had a yuck um, thing in my stomach for a while, but I, I as well decided like, okay, get over it. Maybe that was just a bad day, bad experience. Like I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but let's jump into the pros and cons. Oh, and then we went back and uh, you know, he wanted to show me his whole jewelry collection and uh, precious stones. And he had precious stones from the entire world. Um, he's a very avid collector. Like he had like millions of dollars in stones on display in his place. And it was beautiful and amazing and interesting and all of that. Um, and you know, of course, wanted to like make the moves and all that kind of thing. And I was stuck to my, you know, original, uh, whoa, you know, whoa, we're getting to know each other, whoa. And, um, you know, was willing to throw jewelry, money, anything to do with like whatever to get me over that hump. And I'm like, uh, no, but, uh, it, it, I'll tell you what happened uh, after that. So when it was all said and done, I did send him a text. I won't tell you what ended up happening with us because we're saving that to the end of the series. But um, I can tell you this, is that 
I sent him a, a text with my thoughts on everything in the most gentle way possible and and my stance on the physicality of things and all of that and I can tell you this standing your ground and refusing to cross boundaries with yourself that aren't comfortable um, doesn't it's not like high school where this is like you're just a tease for grown men they do understand that uh, you know having that kind of resolve he could see me as nothing less than a classy woman because I wasn't willing to compromise myself for money for jewels for you know any material anything my integrity is worth everything my integrity is worth it all and uh, they could do they can get plenty of that when you've got lots of money it's not difficult to find people who will buy in to that and um, I also found out that he's been on the dating site for quite a long time so um, we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons and then I'll explain um, how I felt about it we're gonna give um, we're gonna give <laughs> millionaire mama's boy we're gonna give him pros all right so the pros we'll do the thumbs up uh, are that he's very innovative very ambitious very hardworking. has several companies several like big interests and he's actually an inventor in his own way as well and that to me like some of the stories that he told were very fascinating and I am stimulated and excited by uh, entrepreneurial mind uh, an innovative mind a creative mind and um, you know with any millionaire they've had successes and they've had failures if they're if they it, it would be so unbelievably rare to ever meet somebody that hasn't had failures as well um, but if you're going to make it to a higher status in the financial world like you've got tenacity and strength and resolve so he's done a lot of things um, so we're, we're gonna go on to the next pro we'll call him worldly he's been a lot of places has a lot of stories very interesting to uh, hear the adventures and the stories and the talk like to me that's a pro because it's just like wow it's like you get to access a whole nother world just by talking um, so there was a lot of interesting conversations and observations and uh, how he connects it to you know businesses that he has and all of that was very very interesting and clearly a very generous person as well that's another pro pro three very generous materially um, and realizes like your worth as well and happy to rise to the occasion in a material way like through jewelry through taking you expensive places um, even giving you money if you wanted that but I didn't so I'm not <laughs> but in terms of like being a provider or you know monetary giving he, he would be great for that he'd be showering with jewels and all that kind of thing so that for many is a pro and it is a beautiful trait to have some people do their love language through giving gifts and that's fine so those are the three pros we're going to give um millionaire mama's boy i guess that he's family oriented <laughs> so. another okay so we're going to go into the cons so the cons to me one con i will give and I guess it's it's maybe an unfair assumption but I'm gonna get I'm gonna put it out there anyway when I found out that he's been on the dating site for 10 years that is a that's a flaring red flag because to me then you're just surfing for action and there is no intention of commitment and that's all I'm there for so you're on for a conquest I can see you I smell you and I know what you're there for and to me that makes me red flagged up now sometimes it's a matter of not meeting the right person so I wasn't willing to completely like throw things away on a technicality like that but it is a flag the next con let's go when you go through a whole life of things and you have maybe risen up yourself financially but maybe spiritually you haven't you are living in a complete 3d existence and you live in places that are like 
full of entitlement you have bitterness within you haven't resolved you've got all kind everything opposite to love all of the material world so there's he was completely emerged in uh, the material world and his happiness depended upon it and to me that's a complete con because um, spirituality you know there might have been more depth to him than I'm expressing here but it's something that I saw right away as a con because it was just like something that he was predominantly flashing um, deeper 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 there is more family oriented and I think it, it you know there are some reasons for his bitterness that I understand some relationship people that have taken advantage I get all that um, but I'm using this as a con because those experiences are supposed to make you grow not make you bitter and you're supposed to become more empathetic not more entitled so those are the things that are cons to me and let's talk about the mama's boy part <laughs> so if you run into a mama's boy this is a person that reveres their mother over every other female that they're gonna come into in, into contact with and you are in competition with their mother in so many weird kind of ways from cooking to um, uh, your belief system and I was dealing with somebody with cultural there was cultural differences there and uh, so how they deal with women in the Western society, which is not where he was from, is basically um, going to be with certain visors on, certain assumptions. Um, and if you don't come from that culture, you don't understand everything that, that, that they've been raised upon. And I'm not saying that they don't blend like Western and... and, and you know different cultures into their belief system but predominantly if they're so tied in especially to their mother speaking several times a day every move they make every breath they take is based upon their mother's approval um is scary or that closeness is so tight there is no room for another woman in there so depending on whether that can be resolved or not or um, maybe if detachment can be made there I'm not sure but um, then there might be potential for you so depending on whether that is a possibility of being resolved will depend upon whether this um, relationship would be a success or not and I won't tell you what happened with Millionaire Mama's Boy until the end of the series but that is a con because it is something that is standing as a very strong in the way of getting close between uh, the bonded union between the two people. Um, you have to detach from your parents at some point. You could stay close, but that close? I don't know, guys. So let's wrap this up. Well, I guess we did Millionaire Mama's Boy, and those are the three pros. Again, is innovative, ambitious, worldly, great conversationalist, um, and materially generous. Those are the three pros. The cons, dating site, too long, check into that, multiple years. Um, bitterness and entitlement in their wheelhouse, in their attitude and definitely a mama's boy in the con section. So those are the three in the three. And again, I'll let you know where this all goes. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. There's a couple more of these dating experience I will uh, reveal. And then we're gonna go into some of the strategies behind how to get success with this whole dating experience to get what you want out of it. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.